Hello, in this video we would like to explain about setting up a three-phase electromotor in stand usually and continuously without using PLC. First, I will give you a brief explanation about the wiring and then I will explain about the PLC program. First, because uh, the PLC inputs are 24 volts, we must use a 24 power supply that we connect the positive end of the power to the SS base and connect the X0 and X1 inputs to the start and stop inputs. And we connect from start and stop to the zero base the power supply. This is the PLC digital input. Then from the PLC input, we connect the wire that comes off the RCB and connect it to the load control and force control to the C0 base of the PLC, which is located here. And we connect the conductor from Y0 to A1 and uh, we connect A2 to the neutral. This is the PLC wiring from starting a three-phase motor which you can launch momentarily or permanently. According to the program that you write inside the PLC, you determine whatever this program will work momentarily or permanently. Uh, the program uh, we downloaded into the PLC as uh, follows when the start uh, input is activated because the stop contact is connected to the nc input the output is activate so when the start input is activate the output is activate and uh, when we activate the input the output is activate and when we release it the output is deactivate when we activate the start input and activate the stop input, the output will be disabled because uh, this program was momentary. When uh, we release it, the output will be also be disabled. If uh, we want it to work permanently, we have to add a part of the program. So we have to make input parallel with output. In this case, the output is placed in a permanent state. And uh, now we change the program in the PLC software and parallel the output with the input. Now uh, the motor is uh, working continuously and uh, we didn't make any changes the wiring and just change it the program when we click at the start input the motor will be activated permanently and it will be deactivated with stop input because we parallel the output with the input when they start activate the output is activate and uh, this contact is activate and in case uh, the electric current passes through the lower power unless we cut off this power followed by using the stop input. PLC programming tutorial on the Udemy site that you can use and get to know the program and different brands of PLC. Thank you.